This episode of Android Q&A is brought to you by Domain.com. So, Sony Mobile CEO claims, and I quote, we will never ever sell or exit from the current mobile business. Curious, what do you think? True or not true? Now, there was a time when Sony was the consumer electronics company on the planet. They had the most power, the most influence. But when it comes to smartphones in 2015, not so much. Sony does not even make the top five OEM listing for smartphone market share. But in examining HTC's market share at just 3.8 in February 2015, even if Sony were to be number six on this list, the percentage would arguably be trivial at best. Still, Sony's main market is not in the US, as evident by the lack of availability of the new Xperia Z3 Plus. The company has decided to release it only on Verizon, and a modified, enhanced version of it no less. Other devices such as the Xperia M, Xperia T, Xperia E are nowhere to be seen, leaving more price-conscious consumers to gobble up other offerings by Huawei, Motorola, or LG. Sony is arguably missing some huge potential here, as its brand name recognition would do wonders against mid to low end devices of similar offerings by quote, lesser manufacturers. But you may be thinking, Jace, Sony probably does great smartphone sales in Japan. No, as a Japanese company, you would think Sony would be doing well in its home country. Yet sales data from December of 2014 indicated that this wasn't the case either. India, now considered to be the new China as far as market potential goes, has an absolutely stunning number of OEMs competing for a piece of the pie. And as can be seen here, Sony is clearly not one of the major ones. Now, Sony Mobile CEO Hiroki Totoki spoke with Arabian Business, and he spoke with confidence about Sony's future. Does he know something we don't? He said this. Will Sony bow out of the mobile industry? The answer is essentially no. More specifically, Totoki explained that, and I quote, smartphones are completely connected to other devices, also connected to people's lives, deeply, and the opportunity for diversification is huge. We're heading into the Internet of Things era and have to produce a number of new categories in this world, otherwise we could lose out on a very important business domain. In that sense, we will never sell or exit from the current mobile business. He also did give us some clues about Sony's future when it comes to wearables. And when it comes to smartwatches, Mr. Totoki explained that, quote, those types of devices and that side of the industry have become huge. Now we're trying to develop smart devices that are connected to the smartphone. In the future, there will be categories of products that will connect to the network, connect machine to machine, connect machine to humans, and connect humans to humans. That sort of connectivity will expand, and we will try to develop even more categories in the future. That's one major focus of Sony. It's a big future strategy. Clearly, I'm not the only one who's been reading the 22 Immutable Laws of Marketing, where it states that the best product does not win. The product that is first in the user's mind wins. Hence, Sony should not try and compete with Samsung. They should create their own category and be the first brand in that category. Yeah. Acknowledging the growing insurrection among rival OEMs, the CEO explained that, quote, the smartphone device consists of a battery and a screen and chips. These are the main parts of a smartphone, and people can easily make them now. But it is the user experience that is not the same. Even if the device is the same, the user experience is different. And this is a very important point. People are not buying a smartphone because of the device and the way it looks. They are buying it because of the experience. You know what, the whole user experience thing has been so overused, it's hard to know what anyone means by it. And he doesn't give us any other details about what that would mean for the end user. So it sounds like a little bit of corporate jargon, no? So it begs the question, what are these new categories that Sony could be creating? Personally, I'm gunning for hearables, these tiny little things that go into your ears that are really discreet, that you can make calls with, listen to podcasts and audiobooks and all that kind of stuff, and music, of course. That's kind of interesting. What do you guys think? What new categories would you like to see from Sony? Let me know in the comments below. I'll be reading them. All right, so I'm gonna give two more days for our more recent t-shirt contest, where I'm asking people to come up with a previously unowned or available .com domain name that somehow creatively 
inspires Joe Hindi to eat durian fruit. That's all you gotta do. Come up with that and prove the power of a dot com. Why? Because no domain name extension tells your story with the same level of trust as a dot com or dot net domain name. Dot com and dot net domain name extensions inject credibility into your online presence. And who doesn't want more credibility? You can save 15% on domain name and web hostings when you use our coupon code Android at domain.com checkout. Don't forget, 15% off when you use our coupon code Android. When you think domain names, thinkdomain.com. Thanks for watching Android Army. My name is Jace. Love to connect with you right here on Google Plus and Twitter, and I follow all your comments below. Don't want to forget about my brothers in Android who are working super hard to be your source for all things Android.